Now, it's the most famous painting in the world and the largest ever copy of the Mona Lisa has been unveiled in Wrexham. It's 50 times bigger than Leonardo da Vinci's original. That used to hang in Napoleon's bedroom. This version is on display in a shopping centre. Rob Thomas reports. 17 and a half metres wide and covering 240 square metres, the Mona Lisa has never been more visible. This massive reproduction came about almost by accident. A number of community groups, including school children, came up with the idea while working with artist Katie Webster. Hers was the task of putting their idea together. It's painted on vinyl um, with acrylic. It's got three layers of acrylic and then it's laminated. Getting a face right was the most difficult. Um, and it took about a week just to do a face. Today, shoppers were taking in their first encounters with an iconic image. I'm going up on top, right. but I was just saying I've been to Paris twice to see the real thing and both times they're on strike, so I'm, I've come here to see the next best thing. I think it's something different, something unusual, something out of the normal, <laughs> so it's, I think it's quite a good idea. It actually took just five weeks to paint this huge copy of Da Vinci's masterpiece, but unlike the 16th century original, this one's only guaranteed to last two years, and plans are already in hand for changes to the most famous of smiles. We're already debating about whether we should Christmas her up and whether she should have an Easter garland and uh, there's some people, me included, thinking maybe we could put a Ferrari on it and see if anybody notices and a necklace and, you know, now we've got Mona, we've got a lot we can do with her. Companies are now being sought to sponsor the various segments making up the picture, raising money for the children's hospice Hope House, proof that this Mona Lisa is far more than just a pretty face.